This video is on rendering in Adobe After Effects. Now, the way you should do it is trying to export to Media Encoder. But if your Media Encoder doesn't work, I'll show you that way first. You have Composition, Add to Render Queue. But before you do that, let me select this, hit the backspace, close my Render Queue. You want to set your render area. Like, I want to render this whole thing. Here's your zoom in, zoom out, down at the bottom. But if you only want to render a section, you can slide your blue bars and uh, only render the area you want. So I'm just going to set this for 10 seconds just to show you how that is. That's the uh, blue bars that are at the underneath your timeline ruler where you see the playhead. They're right there. And this is the area that will be rendered. So you would go, I'm going to make this even shorter just so it renders faster. Composition. Add to render queue, and this <coughs> will pop up in a tab with your timeline. Under output module, I'm going to change my format to QuickTime, and under format options, I'm going to click on that and change the video codec to H264. This is to compress down uh, the homework renders. I'm going to hit OK. Now, while we're here, I'm going to show you something real fast. If you're rendering something with alpha, like say I only wanted this text and not the background, because there was no background, I could do RGB plus alpha if there was alpha. That's where you would get the transparent render. So I changed to QuickTime and then H264 under Format Options. I hit OK. Then I click on Output 2. I give it a name. I'll just call it render Q. I guess that's how it's spelled. And then I'll choose where I want to save it and then hit save. Uh, I'll save it to the desktop. Then the last step is to hit the render button. And then there'll be a chime once it's done. You have your elapsed time, how long it's going to take, and the estimated remaining time. But since this is a fast render, it's only a couple seconds. It's going to fly right through it. And it's done right there. So I select this and I hit backspace to delete it. That's rendering using the render queue. Now if you do have Adobe Media Encoder working, you'd go Composition, Add to Media Encoder, then Media Encoder will open up and you wait for it to load up here. Okay, now it's loaded up. I can change whatever format I want by clicking the first one. And this pops up, so H.264 is what I want because it will work on Mac and PC. But you could use your pull-down menu and choose whatever you want. If you want to do um, QuickTime or AIFF, but I want H.264. This is where you would name it, and it'll also be where you're going to save it to. If you're doing it this way, make sure your settings match for source and output, which they do here. 1920 by 1080, fine. I could always change my target bitrate if I want. A higher number will give you a better looking image, but a larger file size. The smaller the number, the more it'll be compressed. So you will have some loss in quality, but you'll have a smaller file size. So it's a juggling act to find what works best for your animation. And then down here, you can click maximum render quality if you want. Like I said, it'll look good, but it'll be a larger file size and take longer to render. This is gonna be your file size. And then when you've got everything set, you click OK. So I'm going to call this one Render Media Encoder, and I'm going to save it to the desktop as well. And it's because that crashed. Hooray. Okay, so before this crashed, I already showed you all the settings, how to change it. The last step, when you're all set to go, is to hit this green arrow button, like that. And then same thing, it'll start rendering down here and it'll tell you about how much time you have left. There you go, it's done. So once you have it done, just click that, hit backspace to delete it. I'm gonna hit yes to clear out the queue. And that's that.